Um, should we use AI if I am still studying in the school? So I'm going to be honest with you. I feel you should use AI just like math students use calculators. Okay. However, you need to be mindful about something. The last thing you want is having the AI tool generating all of your project or all of your code for you. You still need to be in charge and be responsible for the generated code. So you can have AI scaffolding some of the project for you or some of the code for you, but just be mindful that you need you are responsible for every single line of code generated. You are responsible to see if the code generated is accurate and is working as expected, but definitely you need to literally get used to, to AI tools. If you don't get used to, to AI tools while coding, you are going to get behind other people because I can promise you they are going to use AI tooling for development. Okay. Like all your peers, all your developer friends, everyone will be using AI. What I'm doing right now, everyone will be using this. So you also want to get used to this, but you can get smarter than your friends and you can actually understand the generated code. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm going slowly. I'm going to adjust the code generated by the AI, make sure it is safe, make sure it is secure, make sure it's doing things properly in a modular and organized way. It's not doing crap, for example. So that would be my answer to you. And I hope uh, that's a good answer, okay? Let me know what you guys think on the chat. What's up everyone, it's Nunu here. And if you are enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free, supports the channel, but also keeps you in the loop for the latest videos. Don't miss out and hit that subscribe button now. The, so Zelda is saying the following. The most important thing is to understand the code. I have classmates who rely heavily on AI and without understanding why. Dude, that's, that's crazy, man. Like I have used AI without rules and without checking the code and it just becomes a bunch of crap you know i may be controversial saying something like this but i have never seen a full generated app with ai without any kind of monitoring becoming a good code actually so every time the code is crap at the end because it starts adding stuff it starts hallucinating it starts going off rails and it's Without noticing, the generated code is just crap, basically. You end up with a bunch of crap. So you want to be careful, and you want to always guide the AI, okay? Which is exactly what I'm doing today. I think today, this is the perfect pace. You go slowly. Migrations, factories, testing, actions, controllers, form requests, and then the front end. But you go slowly. I think that's the key for this, okay?